Let's say we wanted to find the area of this regular octagon. It's got a side length of 6 inches. We know our formula to be 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. Up to this point, we've only been doing squares, equilateral triangles, and regular hexagons because to find the length of the apothem, it uses a special right triangle. Now that we know some trigonometry, it doesn't matter if it's one of those or even an octagon, we should be able to find it. So the first thing you got to do is find out how big each of these central angles is. To get that, you take 360 divided by however many sides you have. That's 8. And we get 45 degrees. Okay. So now I drop in one of these, this altitude here, and the angle in between the altitude and the radius should just be half of this 45 degrees, which is 22.5. Now let's label our sides here. Across the right angle we have our hypotenuse right next to the 22.5's adjacent and this is our opposite side. One we don't need is the hypotenuse. We know this side to be 3 which is just half of the 6 here. And we're looking for this side which is our apothem. O and A is tangent. So I'm going to write myself an equation to find the length of that apothem. So tangent of 22.5 should be equal to opposite side, which is 3, over adjacent, my apothem. And the variables on the bottom, I just switch it out with this tangent ratio. So apothem is equal to 3 divided by the tangent 22.5. That's the exact value of the apothem. Now let's just put it all together in our formula. Area should be equal to one half the apothem, three over the tangent of 22.5 times the perimeter. One side is six. We have eight of them total, so six times eight is 48. All right. Now I simplify. I take half of this 48 and get 24. Multiply the 24 times three. That's 60. And the 12 is 72 over the tangent of 22.5. There's the exact answer. Plug this thing into the calculator, you get an approximation. 72 divided by the tangent of 22.5. We get about 173.8 inches squared.